Hello, just wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you to the new version of Fruiting Desktop 0.8, which now features two new platforms. One is on Windows and another one is uh, Mac OS uh, M1 processors, which are the new processors that are present uh, on the newest uh, Mac uh, uh, computers. So those two platforms are now supported by Routine. Um, and so it's, if, if you're using one of those, uh, you should be able to, to benefit from it. Then we've made a progress, we've made some progress on integrations. Uh, the first one is Zapier, which has been requested quite a lot, which allows you to connect your favorite services and products more than 4,000 uh, with routine. Uh, we've written a specific guide to show you how to connect your favorite services uh, with routine and we've also, also already uh, built some pre-made zaps which are integrations uh, in Zapier with your favorite tools like Slack, ClickUp, Todoist, uh, etc, etc, etc. So if you want to benefit from those, uh, you can. Also, we've made uh, a Google Workspace directory integration which is optional which is going to bring your contacts from your company in routine. So it has to schedule meetings with your colleagues, for instance, but it's not mandatory. So you can activate it when you feel uh, safe or you really want to, to, to push it uh, further. So that's for the integrations. The most important addition is probably the multi-account uh, support. So you can now connect as many accounts as you want and if for every account, it will pull the calendars from those accounts. So you have everything in one place, which is the routine app. Now, we've added uh, an interesting functionality, which is the, the ability to indicate and to store your recurring task wherever you want. So, you know, uh, you had things like maybe pay bills uh, every month. Uh, you could do that before, of course, but now you can decide where uh, that task should be stored. Uh, should it be in a task, in an event, in a person, or in a page? So let's imagine this page. And you can use the slash separator to even select in which section, in which heading, or under which heading, uh, this new uh, object should be placed in your page. So let's say reminders. So if you do something like this, uh, it will store the uh, recurring tasks, as you can see here. So this one you can delete, this one here. And it's a, a regular object, so you can open it, uh, you can edit the frequency, you can stop it if you want, etc., etc., etc. What's really interesting about that is that it allows you to organize, to group information, so regular task, recurring task, maybe images, text, uh, all of that in one context, which could be a page, it could be a task, an event, a person, and everything is kind of uh, naturally organized depending on the topic. Um, instead of having them like you know, float in the air, which is the case with regular task management tools, um, where you create a recurring task, it's just, it's, you can't really find it back. It's really hard. So it's really, really useful. Likewise, if you wanted to organize maybe a yearly uh, meeting with an employee, uh, you could do the same. Create a task like, I don't know, like a yearly uh, meeting uh, every year, obviously. Uh, and you could put that in a person. And likewise, uh, what's interesting is that if you want to see everything that you have organized around the person, just go to their profile and you will see all of the recurring tasks, the normal tasks, the points that you wanted to discuss, etc., etc., etc. So that is really, really powerful. Likewise, uh, we've added the possibility to move uh, a task in your graph of information because routine has been designed as a graph so you can move information so let's say that this task which is a root object it doesn't belong to anything as you can see here there is no hierarchy you could say okay i want to move this task 
uh, in uh, another task, which is called investors. So if I were to select this, as you can see, called investors has appeared. And if I go back to the parent object, as can, I can see that callback Jennifer is not a subtask. It's still scheduled. There is no problem. So it's still visible here in today. The only difference is that now it has a context. It has a parent object. So it's a lot easier, again, to organize your information uh, through this mechanism. Another thing that we've done is uh, exporting notes. So let's say that you had something like, I don't know, uh, topics that you wanted to discuss uh, and uh, maybe actions and you have created uh, some task. Now you can use the export functionality. And if you do something like doc new, for instance, just to show you, uh, and you passed it will pass everything related to the uh, object that you just exported. So the name of the task for a task, the notes, which are, again, the topics, the actions. But if it were an event, so let me take an event like this one. If I were to take, okay, uh, or maybe let me add Nicholas as a participant. Uh, if I were to say, okay, same thing, uh, things to discuss and some points. Likewise, if I were to export those notes, it would be slightly different because that's an event. So the event has a title, the date and the times, the participants, which are uh, the email addresses of the participants and the notes. So for every type of object, the details are going to be different. But what's really powerful is that you have the full context. You have everything, not just the data of the notes, but also the metadata uh, around the uh, object uh, holding the notes. Finally, you can see here that you've got a calendar uh, for everything here, uh, or even for allocations. You can change the calendar in which the um, allocation or the event uh, is, is located and just by clicking this and it's going to change uh, in, in which calendar the, the event is going to be held. So that's again a, a powerful feature for moving, th moving things around. We will improve this in the future so that you can pick the calendar when you create it, uh, when you create the, the event or the allocation. But uh, that's, uh, that's just the first step. That's it for the 0.8 version. Um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you.